All right, everyone. Um, today I'm actually going to be um, painting Papa Legba's, Legba's Vive uh, with nail polish, red nail polish, into this dark red bowl. And now his colors are black, red, and white. And some people say gold. But this is the Vive that I first drew for Papa Legba, which is interesting because it actually ripped along the cane. And I was able to reattach that part, like, almost directly after I made it. And it actually has a lot of symbolic value uh, the fact that it had that tear right along the cane then I reattached it like there's a doorway there but this is the V that I use for Papa Legba and this is what I'm gonna be uh, painting into this bowl um, and I'm gonna use this bowl as kind of a ritual tool uh, for when I need to basically spit rum or offer cigar uh, cigar smoke and cigars and other offerings into this bowl so this is why I need it I need it more into a bowl and less onto a piece of paper, which is what I first drew it on. Now, I'm going to do this very carefully, and I'm hoping it'll show up um, on this dark red bowl. I, it looks like it is. It looks like it is. But it might take a little bit more nail polish than I expected it to take in order for it to show show up properly and I will show you once it's once it's further along here but as far as who Papa Legba is um, he's basically the old man at the crossroads he's that spirit that that doesn't seem very foreboding that doesn't seem very um, threatening but really he controls the gateway to anything that we would really want as far as uh, in relation to uh, the realm of the ancestors and Ganin and the spiritual energies that can come from there. And um, Papa Legba is, he's sometimes depicted as being very, like an, a diseased old man even. Um, and this is, this is very hard for a lot of people to understand is that um, the skulls and disease and uh, things like that, the age, it's not saying that these things are, are, are like good things that, you know, you should, you should want in your life. Disease, old age, uh, things like that. It's saying that he has a relation to that which is uh, considered dead, that which is beyond this realm, that which exists in dimensions uh, where forms of life exist completely different to where we might even consider them dead. We might, basically, death is that is that void, uh, that, that place beyond um, this earth that we don't really understand a whole lot. And that's why a lot of spirits are associated with skulls and um, things that seem, that seem very uh, deadly or negative. Uh, that doesn't mean that the Loa, the Rada Loa anyway, um, are associated with uh, evil action or anything like that. It's just an otherworldly um, representation. Uh, that's communicated through skulls and age and things like that. Also, age means wisdom as well. There's not a whole lot of Loa that are represented as being old. Um, Papa Legba is one of them. But I'm going to focus on painting this for a second, and then I will continue talking if anybody's enjoying this rant. <laughs> but it's coming out quite well. And I'm basically just using the Vive that I showed you in order to draw this, paint it, however you want to say it. But um, it's not showing up as well as I thought it would, but it has its own flavor to it, and I'm kind of liking it. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it'll show up on the camera, which we will find out here in a second. I'm going to have to kind of make it thicker in a lot of parts uh, than the Vive on the paper because I'm working with a nail polish brush and uh, of course nail polish and it's in a bowl that has a limited uh, amount of space um, but I am I am liking it so far but I've made Vives like this where I have a limited amount of space and they work just fine to be honest in my opinion uh, you know, assuming I'm not completely crazy, I'm not just imagining the effects that <laughs> my ritual work has, which is, you know, it's it's always possible that any one of us is crazy in many regards, not just people that practice magic, but anybody in general, and that we're just being deluded, 
about what we can do even in the mundane world. Uh, I'm always open to that idea, to be honest, because if you're not open to it, you know, you shouldn't be afraid of it, but if you're not open to it, then uh, it's possible you'll never really have any true effects in your life uh, because you won't be able to perceive what your failures were. That's a little off topic, but, you know, I tend to do that quite a bit. Having to dab more than I thought. More dabbing and less line drawing. Seems to show up better with the nail polish. I am liking this. Um, I really hope it's visible to everybody. I can see it fairly well, but the camera is a little different. We are almost done here. Let's do some final touches. Got the main image down. Sometimes you need a liberal understanding of the <laughs> eight pointed star kind of thing. If you're dealing with a uh, utensil that has a very wide brush or very wide uh, point on it but you know improvising is kind of what uh, Vodalis wants to do so we're not all rich that's for sure sometimes we have to work with what we got and that's basically what I'm doing now though I do like the fact that I use this bowl in the doorway magic ritual and uh, after seeing a video on YouTube by, um, let me check and see who that was real quick, just so I give him some credit for giving me the idea that I should be on ceramic or plate or something like that. It was, uh, let's see real quick. It was, uh, let's go to history. Magic LaCroix. So look up Magic LaCroix and look up his Papa Legba video. Uh, I think it has a part one and two and uh, take a look at it because honestly it gave me some information that I didn't have about Papa Legba. Some of it already had but uh, as far as the ritual that he did uh, that was that was that was very good. Uh, <laughs> it was a good it was a good uh, it was a good ritual. I mean he, he just basically showed how to do it but I really appreciated it. Uh, shared it on Facebook and Twitter. I always love it when somebody gives me information that I didn't have and, you know, does it in a way. And he didn't give it to me in particular, but I f basically I love finding information that I just didn't have that's basically given liberally, not held back in what you actually do. Because some people like to hold back on the power that's that's being dealt with here, but Magic Liqueur seems to not do that, which is very good. And, okay, once I'm happy with it, I, I gotta be happy with it forever, so, <laughs> well, not forever, I mean, I, I could make another one one day, but I don't want to make a lot of alterations to this, to be honest, so I don't think it'll be in the right spirit, uh, so I want to make sure we got a good representation here, and I'm liking it, I'm liking it.
finishing touches. Keep on thinking I'm done with it and not being done. All right. All right. I think I'm happy with what it looks like right now. Let me uh, put this down. Didn't get a whole bunch of nail polish on my fingers. That's good. All right. Uh, let's get this in the light so that you can actually see it. Now, I'm not sure how clear the Viva is from the video, but it actually turned out fairly well. It's still drying um, and I don't want to move it around too much to be honest but I actually like how it turned out. Um, it's a little bit different than the Vives that I've dealt that I've dealt with in the past. It's a little blotchier but I think it actually worked out fairly well. Uh, yeah I'm liking it. And this needs some time to dry. I'm gonna blot away the few drops that are on the outside but uh, overall I'm actually very happy, uh, I'm very happy with this Viva and how it turned out. Um, one note is that you don't have to do, uh, a lot of the work as I do it, as even LaCroix said, and, you know, I, he kind of reminded me to make this a point, uh, a lot of, um, interpretation is important, personal interpretation, but also a lot of, um, improvisation. Because we're, we don't all have the proper resources, so it's good to, it's good to be able to, work uh work with what we got so um that's a big part of magic and that's a big part of vote so uh this was the original vive that i used as a model and this is the vive that i came up with Let's see if i can get a little bit more light reflection it's, it's got some time to dry but i actually think it turned out fairly well considering it's they're both red <laughs> but uh yeah, once it dries, it's going to look a little bit different, um, but I think it turned out well. So, um, hey, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up down there, and uh, I'm going to keep keep on making uh, videos on magic, especially in Vodau, and uh, other spiritual topics, as well as some political topics. Uh, but thank you very much, and uh, you all have a great day.